The forthcoming International Conference on Biodiversity, COP15, aims to make significant progress in addressing global threats to nature. But what about livestock and all of this? Of course, some forms of intensive livestock production are extremely damaging. But pastoralism, the extensive mobile use of rangelands by livestock, can be good for the environment. Across the world, pastoralists are practice guardians of nature. Mobile livestock production can enhance biodiversity, protect rare species, prevent wildfires, and keep carbon in the ground. Yet pastoralism is often cast as environmentally damaging, the cause of desertification, biodiversity loss, and climate change. Such misunderstandings see pastoralists as backward outsiders in need of modernization. The solution, therefore, is to exclude pastoralists and their animals, putting up fences to protect conservation areas. This is a big mistake. Pastoralists need to be central to nature-positive solutions to the biodiversity crisis. Our research offers a number of important lessons. First, Low intensity and mobile grazing can enhance biodiversity. Second, mass tree planting in rangelands as part of rewilding and conservation efforts, for example, can do more harm than good. Third, extensive livestock grazing can help reduce catastrophic wildfires by keeping flammable vegetation under control. And fourth, people, livestock and wildlife can coexist through collaborative conservation approaches. Without a deeper understanding of open rangelands and extensive grazing systems, inappropriate approaches to conservation may be advocated that can be damaging to both people and the planet. Pastoralists, as users of rangelands that cover more than half the world's land surface, must be central to the plans coming from COP15.